All right, so this is where I get all my kernels, hydrokernel.net. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just flash a stock undervolted um, kernel today, and you can also flash um, overclocked and undervolted kernels. But I don't want to screw with the overclocking yet because I'm still new to this, and you know I don't want to mess with anything um, too much. But I'm just gonna do a stock undervolted with wireless N. Just download that real quick. And I already have it over here um, on my desktop. I downloaded it earlier. But uh, basically, once you do that, what you want to do is you want to put it on the root of your SD card. So I plugged in my phone and set it to mount to disk drive. And then your SD card will come up. You just open your SD card. And then what you want to do is you want to drag the hydro kernel into, your, into the root of your SD card. No folders, no nothing, just on the, on the face of it. And I already have it on there, and I'll just replace it. Um, and it's on the root of your SD card. So the next thing you want to do is you want to you know, eject your HTC Incredible from the computer. Turn it off disk drive, charge only or whatever. And then SD card, yada yada yada. We can just unplug it now. So then the next step right here is is that better lighting? Okay. The next step is you want to turn off your phone, power off, and now that your phone's powered off, what you want to do is you want to hold down the, the lower volume button and the top button to boot into uh, bootloader, and that's going to do a little thing where it searches for stuff in a sec, and then we can boot into recovery. So we go down to recovery, right there, press the top button, and it'll boot into the clockwork recovery. Um, quick disclaimer here, I'm not responsible for anything you do. If you break your phone, it's not my fault, but this is how I do it, and I'll show you clearly how to do it right here. So, now we're in with clockwork recovery right now. Let's just zoom in on this. I don't know how well you can see that, if well at all. But anyhow, you're going to see the clockwork recovery. Um, from the route that I showed you guys in the last video. And you want to go down to, I think it's the fifth option. The fifth option is install zip from SD card. Uh, if you guys can read, install zip from SD card. And you want to press the optical trackpad to select it. Um, then if you look at this here, you will see apply SD card update does it. You don't want to do that. You want to do choose zip from SD card. It's your second option down. And then you just hit the optical trackpad again or optical trackball, and then you want to scroll, you can just hit the up button, because it'll take you down to the bottom, and at the bottom, there's the hydro kernel, ah, can't really see it, anyways, the hydro kernel, underscore UV, underscore N, version 2.0, whatever, that we just downloaded, and it'll be pretty easily just easy to distinguish, it's pretty much the longest one on the list, um, usually at the very bottom, and then what you want to do is you just want to hit the optical trackball again, and then confirm install. This cannot be undone. And you can obviously install the regular kernel again if you wanted to, but um, you get all these new options and you just scroll down to the yes. And then you press the optical trackball again. And it'll install itself. Extracting system files, extracting kernel, install from SD card, complete. It was quick, wasn't it? Uh, it was really quick, actually. I think it took longer the last time. Maybe I already have it in. Anyways. Um, okay, so then you just basically, you want to, so it took me a sec, but you got to hit the up button a few times to get to the go back um, thing, sorry about that, but it's pretty easy, you just hit go back, I already had it enabled and I disabled it, so try not to do that, but you just hit the up button and it'll enable the go back button, if you can see it there, and you can go back, go back, and then you can, at the top option right there on the main clockwork recovery screen, you just reboot system. And you've just installed a kernel on your HTC Incredible or other Android device since they're all pretty similar. Uh, almost identical, actually. But there you go. That's how you install a kernel on your device. Now, the undervolted kernel will give you better battery life and um, shouldn't affect performance. Uh, the undervolted overclocked will give you better performance and better battery life.
which is the optimal one to choose, but uh, overclocking does risk hurting your phone more. Um, so you definitely want to watch that. But undervolting will definitely save you a ton of battery life. I don't know what I'm at. I just plugged my phone in, so it's not going to be accurate anymore. But I was at about 8 hours, and I had, you know, I still had 70, 80% of my battery on my HTC Incredible, which isn't, <laughs> isn't normal at all, which is a good thing because I use it way too much. Um, for the battery that came stock, I still need to order a spare battery, but that's for another video. And there you go, your phone boots up just fine, as you guys saw. Preparing phone storage, and there you go. Works just fine. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe. And uh, enjoy your new kernel.